SpaceX has been around for over 18 years at this point, during which time they have been able to send people to the ISS, land rockets vertically, and are well on their way to Mars. On top of this, they have been pretty consistent at pulling in a few billion per year, with projections placing them at 2-3 to three billion dollars the last few years. Moreover, it's quite likely that the market will bid up the stock just because it's an Elon Musk company. Despite this, Elon Musk has been very stubborn about keeping SpaceX private, at least in the meantime. So why does Elon Musk refuse to take SpaceX public? Will SpaceX ever become public? And what are some options to invest in SpaceX today? Well, starting off, one of the biggest concerns when taking a company public is volatility. And this is especially true for companies with revolutionary technology. Whenever you're dealing with revolutionary technology, the company is highly prone to market fluctuations. Whenever the stock market is booming, we'll see many investors throwing money at AI and space companies. But when the stock market is hurting, the first place investors will take money out of is such technology. As a result, we'd likely see SpaceX stock respond in multiples to the overall market. For instance, if the S&P 500 drops 3%, SpaceX stock may drop 15 or 20%, which would make consistent fundraising a nightmare. Aside from this, many investors will want short-term gains, which would contradict and possibly hinder SpaceX's long-term goals. For instance, Many short-term investors looking to just hold SpaceX for a couple of months or a couple of years may prefer that SpaceX focus on expanding Starlink and making it more profitable as opposed to sinking all of their profits from Starlink into Mars, which is thus far an unproven market. Going public would also force SpaceX to devote a good amount of their effort into quarterly growth to keep investor confidence high. With that being said, Elon Musk basically doesn't want to deal with tending to the short-term expectations of the market. But what about raising money? Wouldn't going public help raise money and thus make Mars easier? Well, not really, as SpaceX is already valued quite highly within the private venture capitalist market. As of August 2020, SpaceX is worth $46 billion which means that they are valued at roughly 15 to 20 times their projected annual revenue. To put this in perspective, if Tesla was valued like SpaceX, Tesla would be worth up to $500 billion, which is a full $100 billion higher than their already sky-high $400 billion valuation. From a PE ratio perspective, out of their 2 to $3 billion in revenue, they could likely profit a few hundred million. But of course, with them investing so heavily into Starship, they're likely profiting less than 100 million if they're making money in the first place. So their PE ratio, if they are in fact profitable, is likely in the several hundred range, if not well over a thousand. Considering this, SpaceX is already valued quite richly, and it's not likely that the public market would treat them any better. But even if they did, it's not a big deal as SpaceX doesn't need the money. Currently, SpaceX's biggest bottle cap to growth isn't capital, but rather technological improvement. You see, the main reason Tesla went public was because they didn't have a choice. Making rockets is really expensive, but it's not even close to the cost of mass producing electric cars. Aside from this, many of the early investors into Tesla were individuals like Elon's brother, who likely prefer to eventually have an exit plan from the company. Conversely, some of the largest investors of SpaceX include corporations like Google, Bank of America, Fidelity, and NASA. Considering that all of these companies and organizations are worth hundreds of billions if not trillions, they don't care to cash out anytime soon. Moreover, if all else fails, we have Elon Musk himself. In October of 2011, Forbes estimated that Elon Musk was worth about $680 million, meaning that he was only worth a few hundred million dollars during the IPO of Tesla. Of course, that's a lot of money for an individual, but not that much for a multi-billion dollar corporation. Not to mention, 
most of that money is tied up in stock. Thus, Elon Musk didn't have very much funding power himself in 2011. Today, however, Elon Musk is worth over a hundred billion. And though virtually all of that is still tied up in stock, he has much more flexibility today. Selling $100 million of his $300 million stake in Tesla in 2010 is not a good image. But selling $3 billion out of his $70 to $80 billion Tesla stake today is not a big deal. So Elon could single-handedly fund $5 billion for SpaceX on an annual basis for at least the next couple of decades, similar to what Jeff Bezos has done with Blue Origin. Thus, SpaceX really has no financial concerns at the moment, nor well into the future. So, they have no reason to go public for financial reasons. With that being said, will we ever see SpaceX go public? Well, fortunately, yeah, most likely. SpaceX is already nearly a $50 billion company and well past the prospect of an acquisition. And these prospects are basically going to 0% as SpaceX grows into the hundreds of billions. As a result, the only way to really cash out of SpaceX at this point is by going public. Sure, maybe Elon will hold till his death, but I'm sure that most of the other investors do eventually want to cash out. And Elon is very much open to this idea. His main fear isn't really going public, but rather going public before the Mars transport system is in place. By that point, the vast majority of investors will have no issues with heavily investing into Mars, as Mars is a reality at that point as opposed to simply a dream. Moreover, SpaceX will no doubt have much stronger financials by then, giving them much more stability than if they were going public today. SpaceX is still planning on getting people to Mars in 2024, so we might see a SpaceX IPO near the end of this decade, but if not, definitely in the 2030s. So unfortunately, though it's likely that a SpaceX IPO will eventually happen, it's still quite a while out. However, there are some options to get some money into SpaceX today. The easiest way to invest in SpaceX today would be to pour some money into some of SpaceX's investors. Google does hold upwards of 10% of SpaceX, but this is just a sliver of the Google empire. Thus, for every $1,000 you invest into Google, approximately $5 goes to SpaceX. So only half a percent, but Google is a pretty solid company to invest in, so that is something to consider. If you would like to get a bigger chunk, however, a great option may be buying ETFs that include SpaceX. ETFs or exchange traded funds are just portfolios of stock. These can be made up of just public or private companies or a combination of both. But anyways, some of these funds have a stake in SpaceX, such as this one from Fidelity. Most of these guys only have a decimal level stake in SpaceX, but you may be able to find one with a couple of percent. Also, as SpaceX continues to grow, it's likely that these funds will increase their stakes in the company. Another positive with ETFs is that they generally invest all of the fund's money into the same niche. So, though maybe only 0.5% of your money will go to SpaceX, the other portion will go to companies like Blue Origin, Boeing, and Virgin Galactic. As a result, ETFs are a phenomenal way to bet on an entire industry as opposed to just one company. And I think this is probably the best choice for most retail investors. But a more direct method to invest in SpaceX would be through platforms such as Equity Zen and Forge Global. These companies specialize in making private companies like SpaceX more accessible to the average retail investor. To achieve this, they find insiders and or venture capitalists with investments in the company to sell a portion of their stake at a certain price. And this is what is accessible for you and me to buy. So by using such platforms, you can directly invest in private companies. But there are some things to consider and some limitations. First of all, the insiders who are selling will no doubt be selling at a decently higher price than what they got in for. So you will almost certainly be investing at a premium. But you are getting in before they go public, so that could be worth it. Something else to consider is that when buying and selling, you don't know how long you'll have to wait. It could be tomorrow, 
but it might also be three months from now. And finally, the last major hurdle when using such programs is that many of them have minimum investment requirements and you likely also have to be an accredited investor, which basically means that you need to have at least a million dollars in other investments. So if you meet these requirements and are fine with short-term illiquidity, these programs may be exactly what you're looking for. But anyways, that's just a couple of ways you can get a piece of the space game. Would you guys invest in SpaceX? Comment that down below. Also, if you guys found this explanation helpful, then make sure to drop a like and consider subscribing to see more questions logically answered. But until then, I'm Hari and I'll see you guys on the next one.